Today we are going to make a new comparison video. So first I have here Sony 6400 which is my favorite camera, casual use. If we go out I always bring this and with this lens it's 35mm 1.8. This is my favorite combination. If we're going out somewhere casual, then I'm going to shoot some Dania's portrait or something. I always bring this combination. This lens is amazing and so compact, so small. We are going to compare can this iPhone 12 Pro can be almost close to this camera. So I don't even need to bring this camera. Is that possible? Let's try. Daniel, how do you think? From I'm, your... I'm thinking about my dogs. Okay. <laughs> we are going to walk some straight dog today. So she doesn't care about any camera stuff. It's my stuff. So first of all, I will change all these settings to as close as possible, including the aperture from the iPhone 12. And also I do a little change of the exposure and the colors, so you will not judge from the iPhone color. You ready? And now, which one is from iPhone and which one is from Sony 6400? Sometimes you can tell because iPhone usually will keep more details compared to camera. iPhone usually have better ability to keep these details from the low light and also more exaggerated colors. And camera sometimes will be overexposed but like this photo it's really difficult to tell the difference. And also this one even before I change everything this is so difficult to tell the difference. Okay, everyone knows in the good daylight there's no difference between iPhone or a camera. But how about nighttime? Let's go check. How about this one? Can you tell the difference? This one the focus point have a little difference, but you know how it is. This one you can tell a bigger difference. So here are the photos straight out of the camera and the iPhone. As you can see that you can tell the difference from the colors. But you see after if we change the exposure and the colors, then it becomes very difficult to tell the difference. And some people might say, yeah, this is just photos, you can change it. But how about videos? And check this out. There is an app called ProTake which can create this shadow depth of view in the video mode. How amazing is that? So you can also change the aperture but unfortunately right now you can only use 1080p and the better way is to use the LiDAR mode to detect the distance. However, if there's something in front of you, the distance detection will change and you will be out of focus and you will be looks bad. But if you keep distance with your background and if you are not moving too much, it still can look pretty good. So that's it. That's today's comparison. Hope you like this video. Please give us a like, subscribe us and see you in next video. Thank you.